What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire at War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off where we left off last time, uh, this is one of the forces that we intercepted um, near Norway and we're just gonna quickly go and clear the map. Um, just, it will cause our main forces, specialties, to just uh, take them out like this. Um, especially as we are pushing on the force intact. Okay, so what I'm going to do is drop a set of guns back here to fire a range. How it is a bit closer. Dropping quick line. And let's just set up a fairly benign infantry position. Let's put a, a more melee heavy focus on trying to capture this hill. Because to be honest, our general is going to do a huge amount of damage. Our general, our artillery, sorry. Bring my pikemen to bear push my infantry up. Pike wall formation, you charge straight into those infantry cavalrymen. Yeah, they did pivot their focus. Okay, in which case you don't pike wall, just attack the provincial cav. You guys run up. These guys just keep running like that. Cavalry unit's completely destroyed. So you guys go on into the regiment of horse. Push one light horse through the center. My other two cavalry go around the flank. Artillery is dead. This cavalry is about to get massacred. Considering they are... Actually, I think I might quickly pop my sound up just a second. There we go. That should be a bit better. So then these cavalrymen are going to die. Our light horse just goes straight into the mercenaries. All of our artillery is focus firing on those that set of guns. And I'm pretty okay with that. One of our units is upset and is thinking about routing. Use the heavy cavalry to hit the 27th. Follow them up with some grenadier support. Send the other men into the combat to the south. Swedish hunters, that's a different unit. They look pretty good actually. So you guys both follow the Swedish Hunters. Let's just stop our artillery before we accidentally kill everyone. Actually, to be honest, our cavalry can deal with them. Uh, you guys intercept this lone Swedish mercenary. You guys intercept those Swedish mercenaries. Get my pikes to drive up into the main combat up the hill. Because yeah, these are these are regulars. They're not going to stand up very well to any sort of um, enemy action. Where is my general? You guys hit the militia. Let's get my heavy cavalry to take out this last mercenary here. My general, chase down that mercenary unit. Jump 
bodyguard's been killed. Okay, you, you can chase down the militia, get these guys out of the way. Get these hussars onwards to chase down the running Swedish hunters. Yeah, we're going to continue. So my general does have a couple of units out here, but he's not fighting that many troops, so he should be okay in attempting to uh, wipe them out. Three, two, one. Go knock out that last guardsman. You push on and hit these Swedish hunters. They're going to die. Oh, it's just this chap and my general. They're done. There we go. That's the sort of uh, large scale massacre you want. There you go. A thousand men killed for 300 losses. So you can kill them, drive them back. Come on, Vito. You guys can replenish and push on. Because I do want to march on Stockholm. Um, okay, because we've got a Protestant missionary here, I might send my priest on. Yeah, send him on to. Onward to Stockholm to scout what forces they've got in the region as well. So we do have this army to the south. I would like to kick them out of Malmo, but that would um, cause their navy to go into action. And um, I'm currently building up a decent fleet here. Am I building any admirals? No, I'm not. So let's pick a... First rich of the line, Lemurion Lemurion. Oh, I cannot promote... Oh, it's because I have no money to promote an admiral. Yep, yeah, that's fair enough. Um, this Scottish force here is looking like it's going to be eligible for onward deployment. Um, but I'm really happy with how this is going. Uh, right now, I think it's going to be a fairly simple operation to now uh, dismantle the Swedish apparatus. I might move this priest onward towards Copenhagen. Amsterdam is look, looks like it will it will rebel, which will hopefully draw some of these fellows rearward um, as we continue to uh, build up our forces in France. Said so you, at some point we will push in and attack them because we'll kind of because we'll, cool, we'll have to, but I do want to uh, knock out as much of their capabilities I can, and that includes these three navies, well these two Swedish navies and this Russian navy here in the strait. This does mean you guys need to keep churning out ships, which they are doing. Then down here, nothing's really going on. I need to fix the global trading company. Down here in Tripoli, nothing's really going on. Uh, let's get some, well you're just fifth rates anyway. Okay, you're growing. Our main fleet is helping protect Istanbul. Well, not at the mo at the moment, it isn't, but it will be soon. See, I should kill these guys. That's the smart thing to do. But I'm not a war of the Ottomans, and I'd rather not be until I've, you know, knocked a bit more of a hole in the Swedes. And we are building a church school, so that should help start to offset this guy. Although I do want. Um, agents to start heading that direction. So I don't really need you here in Stuttgart, really. Um, if I send you on a long walk, you could... They won't cross the strait, because they won't be able to. But if I set them to infiltrate Stockholm... They will, yeah, they will run the long way around, which I'm okay with, because they can collect intelligence on Russian dispositions all along the coast. Hmm. Let's hop over to the Americas. Well, we have this force here at Antigua. Can you leave yet? Nope. Signore. Could build a garrison, but I don't really want to. Um, I'll just be sailing down to take Trinidad and Tobago anyway. Apart from that, everything's going okay. Make a lot of trade. Let's hit end turn. Yeah. Some of our priests and reinforcing units are on the move. Yeah, I do like the position we're getting into. Okay, what about 
just these things. I do not want to give away Gibraltar. I would very much, very much like them to uh, continue attacking the Ottomans. Although, it looks like we have annoyed them quite significantly. At some point, they will declare on us. But hopefully, that's not today. And then we should have some pretty... Should be able to make good time towards the Swedish capital and knock them out. Because that then does leave, leave us with lots of interesting opportunities against the Russians. There we go. So they've got a full stack. Or a full... Almost a full stack. Yeah. Interfere and intercept. A various... Swedish armies up against the uh, the city itself. So that's why we really wanted to get that second force deployed over there. I figure they can intercept that one of our forces, sorry. Ooh, we get an agent. Okay, he's pretty good. Let's get him moved on. So you can march on to Damascus. We've got an agent there in Jerusalem. We have an agent in Cairo. Although you... Okay, you march on to Cairo instead. Because I did notice. We've got an agent here as well. And that's not the same guy. It's the same portrait, but it's a different guy. I've got four, actually. Okay, you're going, okay, you've got one to Cairo, we've got one going into Jerusalem, get one into Damascus. And you move on to Baghdad, because at least the priests do give us uh, intelligence as well. Okay, good, we've got a religious building built up here in Norway. Is that enough to slow to take to uh, wear, wear him down i doubt it because he's very good the navy is growing in both the med and the channel as well as grenadiers in france let's upgrade both the military buildings on the continent i don't want to upgrade this port because it's too susceptible for intercept let's not upgrade either of those ports yet <laughs> You infiltrate Copenhagen, which is fully garrisoned. So you march and put Stockholm under siege. I mean, to be honest, we could just attack them. But I would like first, to, so I don't forget, send this guy up against Elf Springporten. We can't give them, give their armies any opportunity to, or any easy opportunity to run around us, to intercept them uh, as they bear, so to speak, towards the city. And they may get some reinforcements, extra reinforcements from that, but I'm not overly concerned about my attack on the city, because if they do fall back that direction, we also have a significant uh, amount of troops. Okay, let's get our gunners probably up here as well I'm gonna push forward and try and take that ridge I think is my plan Got a slightly weaker infantry division down on down in the flatland but they could have the benefits of cavalry support let's put a pike unit on each on each of my main infantry brigades general in the center howitzers here and get them firing early on. Yeah, I'm aware their cavalry is rushing in.
horse guards, literally marines on cavalry. It's pretty neat. So you're going to be, you're going to draw them into battles against the squares. More rocketry coming in. Can you drop into square? Pikes back here are a bit further behind. Yeah. Those Lancer guards did manage to hit our guns, but that's okay. Gun teams can be. Gun teams can be uh, recruited. Come on. Yeah. I didn't expect they'd bump into these Swedish Dragoons, but the Pikemen will deal with them soon enough. Um, same about. You go stay in square. This is the thing, you've got to keep... Uh, you have to keep bringing their... You have to keep bringing your infantry into the right places. If you stop guard mode, just keep attacking them. against my heavy cavalry. Quick Lime has done excellent work against their superior line infantry. Cavalry's in deal with the rocket troop. all out of square run out of the infantry to be honest it was a bit of a risky gamble running my uh, artillery up to try and get that kind of position but I kind of thought I wouldn't really get a chance to do um, anything else with them okay let's take the hussars out and they can chase down that unit of superior line Get our hussars, you chase them down. You guys continue to chase them down. There we go, general's being shot to bits. Pikemen get involved fighting these Swedish dragoons. Let's get our line infantry out of that fight, because right now it's just heavy cavalry versus dragoons. Stop firing everyone in general. It should be pretty good. Special Swedish Dragoons. Got a bunch of pikemen up there, Jaxi. The general, though, you need to charge that special regiment. Everyone guard mode off. Hit the Dragoons while you've got them surrounded. Damn right, continue. I actually better kill this cavalry unit. There we go. There we go. Everyone stop firing. Let's let the uh, cavalry do their business. I mean, obviously, sometimes if you leave cavalry alone, 
they don't really do what you want them to do. Cue it to nine guys. You should get down to four. So I know it's because they're spread out. There we go. Sixty-two mercenaries, and if you don't, if you let the cavalry just run along, they'll run around behind them and in between them, and not really do exactly what you want. You need to keep right-clicking to keep uh, keep reissuing those orders, and they they manage to work out where they should be. There we go. So they have been roundly chewed up. I mean, granted, our army is not in a good position. You can't march up to uh, take them out. So you can spend money on replenishment. Swiss Guard, eh? Nah. Guess the West European mercenaries recruiting in Norway. Eh. To be honest, we could attack. We could attack Stockholm. I think I will, because then it will damage this other army as well. Why not? So this should be level two fortifications, so pretty big. Be significant, I should say. That's probably the right uh, terminology. They should all know and love. There they are. Okay, let's get our guns focusing on one area here. Get our howitzers as far up as they can go. So let's put these four units going into the breach. These units, plus the Swiss Grenadiers, are going to go and be sneaky. Our cavalry is also going to be here to support and then near the breach as well. Artillery fire quick climb. Or how it's just fire quick climb. You guys attack there. Okay, let's probably pick some of the juicier targets first, even though they're not necessarily good targets. Let's try and drop... Ah, oh, too late. Drop one thing of quick climb here to try and hit some of these uh, cavalry monsters. Okay, you can hit that provincial line unit. You can hit that militia unit. You can hit probably that garrison militia unit. And then my field artillery just uh, bombard your way through the wall don't know where they're targeting see gotta keep an eye on them Okay, one of these gunners start to uh, drop quick climb on units to protect the breach. Here come their marines, they're what I really want to shoot at. The Spring Regimente. They look like slightly different marines. They look pretty good. Ooh, it's a miss. They killed a bunch of marines though. A lot of marines. Oh my god. Twenty-seven foot guards, uplands again. A similar sort of looking unit to marines. Actually, one unit hit that regiment there. One unit hit these guys guarding the breach, and everyone else is just suitable target. So let's put it on to two times speed because right now it's just our glorious artillery doing the Lord's work. Other than that, it's uh. So these guns are reloading, yeah. It's a miss, but it hit a bunch of the guys to the rear. Even more coming in. Damn! Okay, let's change. 
change the targets for my quick lime. They really don't want to do too much more damage to those men there. So let's just pick targets sort of in the center. Keep the artillery bombarding this section of the wall. Because what I don't want is for these units to rout or be destroyed. So these my f yeah, let's I don't know I don't know why. Artillery has started doing this. They just decide. They fire a volley. And I'm not giving them any orders. I've not done any clicks. Okay, good. They are actually carrying on. Should actually kill a good chunk of these. Ooh, if we could fire now. Oh. It's a good opportunity to kill some of these upland units. Oh, there they go. Oh, 96. One more gun. Although that might be better in the end. Just making sure these guys are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Good. They've reloaded. Fire! Uh, oh, God, that guy! Oh! You might have survived the fall, but you didn't survive that. Okay. Now, Maitland, now's your time. Let's keep the artillery dropping shell, dropping Browns sort of inside the breach. You hit that up, citizenry unit. You hit the 14th lifeguards of foot. You hit the... Just on these provincial line infantry units that are sat right here. Actually, you hit the unit of marines. horse howitzers aren't set up which is good as our swiss mountain jaeger sneak up to the walls so you of swiss grenadiers will hold the line while a few of these units onto the walls. There we go. Good hits on the marines. Some units onto the past the was it the fourteenth? It's taking those hits. Yeah, they were very good hits. You hit the Sprengt Regiment, Foot Guard Unit right by the breach. You hit that Militia Unit. You keep hitting those Marines. The job of these guys was to act as a blocker in the event of cavalry pushing through the gate. Because the more men we get up the walls, the better. really want to just aim at the ground so aim at the 27th specifically then if you please oh they've got yeah so the weird funny <laughs> Some good hits on the militia As our men swarm the walls. Garrison lines coming up, but we are making really good progress. 
you men deploy into square preemptively. Some artillery fire. Yeah, they're killing their own cavalry though. So let's push up our men. So the cavalry has hit the square out here. Ah, oh, Quicklime has also done a lot of damage to them. Set you guys to want to get off the walls. Set you to get over here and secure the gatehouse. Yeah, they broke, it's understandable. And they may do some damage to this unit. Um, however, whoa, no need to get back out there. I see those cavalrymen coming. You come over here and take this gatehouse. So now they can't push through and attack us the way they want. They have to come through the breach to get the shortest distance. Cavalry's attempting to do some damage, but, you know, every uh, time these guys spar with one of my infantry, that's another pair of troops that have made it up off of the, uh, off of the wall. Off of the floor, sorry. What I want to do, actually, is set some of these guys to start dropping... Uh, Start dropping quicklime onto, not quicklime, round shot, sorry, onto the main, the main drag. And the pikemen can now have a crack. fellas you get out there so these grenadiers can get through the gate now i don't know if i want to expose them to this swarm Starting to lob artillery back at us. Swap, stop my artillery fire because that probably doesn't help as well. And they're going to get hit by this regiment of horse. There we go. This is what I want to see. Get my grenadiers up here. Start picking off the. Uh, Dragoons. And let's see if this unit can dismount the wall over in this direction and stay as a coherent force. So let's use those men at the gates to help keep them occupied. We want to make the horse guard unit route. Or we want to make them. Um, waver rather than rout. We don't want to kill them, sorry. Not to, to. Okay, now, now, now let's try to get these grenadiers through the gate. Let's get involved in fisticuffs. You guys could open up, that would be great.
There we go. This is what I wanted. Cavalry is the main focus. The breach is a useful um, way to focus focus the enemy into only thinking about that particular sector. Especially while these these units can now push up and start to threaten in the centre. You stay forming square. Keep dropping. Okay, now we've got to, we've got to get these some of these guys off the wall to do the, the bloody job they are destined to do. Probably want to keep them like this because they're firing at the horse guards at range so they are allowed they are keeping slightly more safe there we go do is we want to start you guys take out the dragoons you guys with them because they start to suspect what we're up to so let's get those guys out to uh, start engaging the center start to mass some firepower the places where it's more critically needed. You guys keep attacking this unit of dragoons. Actually, to be honest, you guys better better attack them. Our howitzers folks fire against this unit of garrison infantry because they are engaging our. There it goes. A unit of cavalry is bombing its way in. General's bodyguard. Okay, let's just let you guys not bother with those cavalry because it looks like they're not going to be they're not interested in actually fighting looks like they might actually be a bit bugged why are you broken that's not doesn't make sense could it really be just from right here comes the enemy You form square, run my infantry in the way. Here they come. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. You guys routing over this. Although now we are starting to get into... Uh... Yeah, there we go. Now they're all focused together, I'm going to quick fire the quick line this combat because they're all clustered together. Those are units that are back here to uh, do more damage. And there's the infantry coming in all the way over here, walking into the combat. Um, won't be fast enough, Sunny Boy. Let's just pick you against that. I start to actually pick some of these other units for quick climbing. Oh, I thought the general. Well, the general did die, but his staff is still here. To be honest, let's get the hussars in through the breaches, through one of the gatehouses as well. Plateman done an admirable, admirable job. Okay, let's 
start to push up a bit more aggressively, like. Some of these men are bugged, which is... Oh, there you go, now they're catching up. Somewhere. I don't quite know why you guys aren't really doing anything useful. Everyone else looks like they're all fairly stunned at what's going on. Grenadiers versus Upland Grenadiers. Swarm, swamp, and engage. The reinforcements are coming. <laughs> Cavalry is making uh, good pace. Charles our hussars in. Oh no, don't see we've got funky stuff going on. We do have funky stuff, but come on. Never forget. The key objective. The provincial curry should lose to his size, I think. Now, well, there we go. And come on. Okay, a Swiss pipe have six men left. There we go. Twenty six seconds remaining. You to kill this last militia. men through. Not that's going to make much of a difference. They're attempting a uh, their own type of assault and they're, yeah, they're going to get just up to the battlements in time to see us uh, hoist the Italian flag. Uh, it was a bit of a sloppy battle. Slop. Um, but I'll still take it. Lost 900, they lost 5,000. So the city is ours. Obviously, they don't like us. You men need replenishment. We're going to destroy this modern university. Repair the government building. Repair the museum. Repair the barracks, the artillery spot, and the college. Good. You see, the Swedes, the Swedes do still have lots of troops. That's a very weak fleet there, though. We got another army that's coming in. Looks like it's been it's gonna run in from Finland. Um, I think they're gonna be I didn't really mean to click on that. Um but once we get rid of the school, that's modern Yeah, it gets down to minus four, which then uh, we should start to make 
everyone a bit happy when we've rebuilt the buildings and we've also got our priest in here who's gonna start converting good um but apart from that i don't think there's really anything else to do at the moment um actually this fleet's ready although it's not, it not does not have an admiral yet but i would like to send this fleet against this russian navy and maybe even draw in this second fleet actually let's see if the swedes actually fight alongside the russians on this one nope it's just the russians so our objective is to capture Friedemacher from the russians which sounds like it was probably uh swedish in the first place um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for uh, a pretty decent naval battle. Cheers everyone!